Well, the Idaho women keep winning on the volleyball court, and part of the reason is Pocatello's Jenna Ellis is having herself a whale of a freshman year. Meredith Metzger has more on her impact on this team. Jenna Ellis, a freshman defensive specialist for Idaho, has taken the college volleyball scene by storm. Armed with a will to win and a collection of brightly colored headbands, Ellis leads her team in service aces and has started all but two matches for the Vandals. She can take some swings. If we get in a bind, we know that we can put her out there. She can make some swings and, and go after it if we need to. But she's just that great all-around player, competitive and has energy, and you know she has the will to win. Buchanan says the two-time Idaho 4A Player of the Year has a bright future ahead of her at Idaho. She's going to be the backbone of our program and being able to make sure that we're doing the right things in the backcourt and communicating with the other defenders and what's going on. And, you know, I definitely think she can be that player. For now, Ellis says she'll continue to focus on her favorite part of volleyball. Um, I guess I'm, I'm a game time player. Like, my favorite part is the games. And, um, you know, I would say I love digging, but I like, I like doing everything on the court. Like, mm -hmm. I love hitting, I love digging, I love serving. I like to set. <laughs> like, so, I mean, as far as volleyball goes, I like everything, but... I like game time. Ellis is always easy to spot on the court because of her energy and brightly colored headbands. It's actually a new thing since I've came here, <laughs> the whole bright headband thing. Um, I usually always did a braid, but yep, um, it's kind of becoming one of my things, I guess, every game. It's bright pink or bright blue. Ellis will hit the court again with the Vandals for two home matches this week against Utah State and San Jose State. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Meredith Metzger. We are now joined by Meredith. What's the difference? The slow start, now why are they playing so well? Well, Dennis, the Vandals started out with a pretty tough preseason schedule. I mean, they played two top 10 teams, Hawaii and UCLA, but they managed to pull it together just in time for conference. Debbie Buchanan has been around this program a long time. She's a long time volleyball coach, had great success. My guess is with some of those new faces like Jenna that you talked about, it took a little while to get those to mesh, especially when you're gonna play freshmen this early in their career. It did, but uh, the team chemistry has started to come together. I mean, Jenna started every match, and uh, an outside hitter, Caitlin Peterson, has been playing a lot of games for the Vandals, and she's doing a great job, too. Perfect. Thanks. Great story. You're welcome. Thank you, Meredith. When, uh, and, and it was a big week for women's soccer as well. Kyle Westcott has a very happy Friday report on the women's soccer team. Vandal soccer snagged its first whack win against San Jose State Thursday, moving Idaho to 4-11-1 in the season. The Vandals controlled the first half of the game, outshooting San Jose 6-8, but ended the half without a goal. But in the 51st minute, a cross from senior Megan Lopez to the head of Chelsea Small put the Vandals ahead. This would be Small's 36th career goal as a Vandal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first half I was beginning to think, oh, here we go again. You know, we... Uh... We hit the bar, we hit the post, and you just often wonder, but I believe in what these girls are capable of, and they believe in themselves, and they're just all connected, and it came together. The Vandals would get an insurance goal in the 72nd minute from sophomore Annie Millard, and it would be her first career goal. It means so much to me. I mean, I've um, been working so hard, and I've gotten my chances, but never had a goal. And then um, the build-up just... It was just right timing with the run. They flicked it on and um, the first one kind of hit it in the keeper, but it bounced off and followed in and got my goal. Senior goalkeeper Liz Boyden extended her Idaho record for most shutouts to 15, four of which had been in this season. On Sunday, the Vandals wouldn't fare as well against 2011's WAC champion Utah State. Utah State would score in the 34th minute on a long ball that went under goalkeeper Liz Boyden. Vandals would allow another goal in the 75th minute before answering with a goal from senior Chelsea Small. It is her second goal of the weekend, her now 37th career goal. Like we played good and we connected passes and defended as a unit. We just had a few letdowns and good for Utah, they put them away. And that's what we need to really play the full 90 and the game's coming up so that we don't give those other teams chances. Utah would score another in the 86th minute and finish the game 3-1 in their favor. Idaho travels down to Rooston, Louisiana on the 21st to play La Tech. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Kyle Westcott. Time now for Campus Connection, where we take you inside the University of Idaho campus. And as surprising as this may sound, there's a new Vandal wine out that may help students with their college education. Wine enthusiasts gathered at the University in Best Western last week to get a taste of the Vandal Crest wine collection, the University of Idaho's new licensed label. 
The Vandal Crest Wine Project became official last June when the Idaho Alumni Association got together with the local winery, Camas Prairie, and decided on the Vandal-inspired line of wine. Um, we visited with the university leadership and uh, we were encouraged to go ahead and develop a, uh, a University of Idaho wine label as well. The Vandal Crest label offers four varieties, Pinot Gris, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay and Merlot. A percentage of the proceeds from the sale of wine will go towards general students and athletic scholarships. Vandal Crest Wine officially launched July 26 in Boise. Since then, its availability has spread from not only Camas Prairie Winery, but also to select restaurants and retail outlets throughout northern Idaho. Our true intent goal is to be from uh, Bonners Ferry all the way beyond southern Idaho. Although Camas Prairie Winery produces all of their wines in-house, the Palouse lacks the optimal conditions needed to successfully grow a vineyard. So the winery collects its grapes from a vineyard outside of Prosser, Washington, where they own a crusher and stemmer. After the grapes are harvested, they are brought here to Camas Prairie Winery, where the whole process is done by hand in the back. And the finished product is vandalicious. The winery produces about 2,500 cases of wine a year from its fully hands-on, non-automated process that takes place behind the showroom. After bottling, the foil, labels, and polish are all also applied by hand. The university plans on taking full advantage of their new wine label, serving it and featuring it at various celebrations, alumni events, fundraisers, and special events. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Janae Kivett. Thank you, Janae. Now, if you didn't know, Inside the Idaho Vandals is produced by a class here at the University of Idaho. It's amazing. Every person in the class was involved in that last story. Unbelievable, isn't it? Thanks for joining us for Inside the Idaho Vandals. We'll see you next week. Right here.